Kirby, Planet Robobot is an action platformer video game developed by HAL Laboratory and published by Nintendo for the Nintendo 3DS. A sequel to Triple Deluxe, the previous 3DS title in the Kirby series, the story follows Kirby as he defends Planet Popstar from an alien corporation known as Haltman Works Co., that wishes to mechanize the planet so that they can plunder its natural resources. New to the series in this game is Kirby's ability to utilize a mecha suit known as the Robobot Armor to solve puzzles and fight enemies. The game was released in Japan in April 2016 and worldwide in June 2016. Like Triple Deluxe, enhanced versions of the two minigames featured in the game, Team Kirby Clash Deluxe and Kirby's Blowout Blast, were released in the Nintendo eShop as standalone titles in April 2017 and July 2017, respectively. <laughs> Gameplay Planet Robobot follows a similar gameplay style to the previous Nintendo 3DS title, Triple Deluxe, taking advantage of the system's 3D capabilities by allowing Kirby to move between multiple planes in stages. Like most games in the series, Kirby is able to inhale enemies and spit them out to attack other enemies or swallow them in order to absorb their powers, including three new copy abilities, Doctor, Poison, and especially. Additionally, players can gain abilities and items by scanning amiibo figures. New to this game is a mech suit known as the Robobot Armor that Kirby can pilot, allowing him to destroy certain obstacles, lift heavy objects, and defeat large enemies. Like Kirby, the Robobot Armor can gain variations on these abilities by scanning enemies, this can then be used to attack enemies and solve puzzles. Hidden throughout each level are code cubes, which are needed to progress and unlock bonus levels, and collectible stickers which can be used to customize the Robobot armor. <laughs> Minigames Planet Robobot features two additional minigames, Team Kirby Clash and Kirby 3D Rumble. Team Kirby Clash in an action role-playing game in which up to four players choose a character class and work together to fight large bosses, earning experience along the way. Kirby 3D Rumble is a single-player game in which Kirby must travel along a 3D plane to inhale and shoot waves of enemies as quickly as possible. Clearing the main game unlocks two additional modes, Meta Nightmare Returns, in which players control Meta Knight through a harder version of the main campaign, and the Arena, where players fight multiple boss characters with limited healing items. The game also features support for Street Pass and Miiverse. There is also a harder variant of the arena known as the True Arena, which has players fight bosses from Meta Nightmare Returns as Kirby, and a new secret boss. Topic. Plot A massive mothership spacecraft called the Access Ark suddenly appears, conquers, and mechanizes Kirby's home planet, Popstar. King Dedede and Meta Knight try to fight back, but Castle Dedede and the Hal Bird Meta Knight's airship are both easily overpowered by a single shot of the ship's laser defense systems. It is now up to Kirby, who slept through the entire attack, to set things right once again. Kirby destroys the five bases across the five corners of Planet Popstar that serve as the Access Arc's landing legs. In the midst of doing so, he acquires the Robobot Armor, a mysterious power suit that adapts to and enhances his powers. Kirby also encounters an alien secretary of the Haltman Works Company named Susie, who claims to be gathering endemic natural resources from the planet's ecosystems for her boss. Along Kirby's way to fighting back the colonization of the company, he also battles a cybernetic Wispy Woods, a hologram defense system, Susie in her power suit, Mecha Knight, who is a mechanized Meta Knight, and imperfect clones of Dedede. 
After destroying the five bases and rendering the Access Arc immobile, Kirby infiltrates the Access Arc and confronts Max Prophet Haltman, the CEO of the Haltman Works Corporation. Haltman, who has been following the business plans of a supercomputer named Stardream, dismisses Susie because she failed to stop Kirby. He then duels Kirby but is defeated. Enraged, Haltman attempts to use Star Dream to destroy Kirby, but is betrayed by Susie, who intends on selling the machine to other companies. Unfortunately, Star Dream becomes self-aware and attacks Susie after taking control of the president and becoming sentient. Star Dream then announces that all organic life forms are obstacles in Haltman Works' business plan of prosperity, assimilates Haltman, and embarks on a mission of intergalactic destruction. Susie relies on Kirby to stop Star Dream and Haltman after regaining consciousness. However, Meta Knight returns with his repaired Halberd and fuses with Kirby's Robobot armor to create the Halberd mode, and Kirby confronts the supercomputer. Star Dream revives and takes control of the Access Arc, transforming into a sentient, mechanical planet. As Kirby destroys its armor, the true identity of Star Dream and the Access Arc is revealed. They turn out to be a galactic nova, one of the wish granting comets used by Marx in Kirby Superstar. With Haltman's consciousness fading, Star Dream goes on a rampage but is finally destroyed by Kirby, who ejects from the Halberd to destroy it with a gigantic drill. Kirby's dying robot uses its last remnants of energy to toss him back to Popstar. Haltman's machines magically erode, returning Dream Land to its natural state. Susie flees Popstar and quickly pursued by Meta Knight, as Kirby rushes off on his next big quest after waving goodbye. Though never directly shown in cutscenes, pause screen descriptions and comments from the game's director on Miiverse described how the story came to be. President Haltman was once a kind CEO who had discovered Star Dream and the Access Arc. Tragedy came, however, when President Haltman's daughter, Susana Patria Haltman, was involved in an accident with the machine and sent to another dimension. Overcome with immense grief, Haltman attempted to use Star Dream to wish for his daughter back, but it did not work. Overuse of the machine resulted in Haltman losing his memories, eventually causing him to forget that he had a daughter in the first place. Susie eventually returned and joined Haltman Works Co., seeking revenge on her father. Optional scenes In the final stage of Meta Nightmare Returns, Star Dream wakes up and names Meta Knight the new CEO for defeating Haltman. To prove Meta Knight's worth, Star Dream engages a special combat program that summons clones of Dark Matter from Kirby's Dream Land 2 and Queen Sectonia from Kirby Triple Deluxe for him to fight. Once both clones are destroyed, Star Dream activates a dimensional portal an act that was forbidden by Haltman and summons Galacta Knight. Before the fight starts, however, Galacta Knight destroys Star Dream. After he is defeated, he is sealed in his crystal once again. At the end of the true arena, Star Dream is wounded by Galacta Knight and becomes Star Dream Solo OS. After disabling it with the Halberd, Kirby attempts to use his Robobot armor to finish off Star Dream but is instead inhaled. Inside, Kirby finds the heart of the Galactic Nova. As Kirby destroys each of the pillars surrounding the heart, Haltman screams in agony as Star Dream deletes him from its systems. By the time Kirby destroys the last pillar, Haltman has been completely erased and Star Dream fights Kirby directly. Once defeated, Star Dream emits a series of energy waves which kill Kirby on contact if he is not at or near full health, then disintegrates. Topic. Development Planet Robobot was conceived as more of a direct successor to Kirby, Triple Deluxe early in development. 
The game would have featured the Hypernova ability, though it was eventually replaced with the Robobot armor in order to avoid retreading old ground. The game was unveiled at a Nintendo Direct on March 3, 2016. A set of Kirby-themed amiibo consisting of Kirby, King Dedede, Meta Knight, and Waddle Dee has been released with the game's release date, and offer unique gameplay changes. The game was released in Japan on April 28, 2016, and in June 2016 worldwide. A demo for the game was released through the Nintendo eShop on July 21, 2016. Following the release of the original game, it was announced from an April 2017 Nintendo Direct that two minigames from Planet Robobot would be released as standalone titles in honor of Kirby's 25th anniversary. The first, released in April 2017, is Team Kirby Clash Deluxe, which expands on the minigame's action role-playing elements with additional levels and features. It is free to download and play, though in-game currency can be bought through microtransactions. The second, released in July 2017, is Kirby's Blowout Blast, a 3D platformer based on the gameplay of Kirby 3D Rumble. Reception Kirby, Planet Robobot received positive reviews. Metacritic gave it a Metascore of 81 out of 100 based on 71 critics indicating, "...generally favorable reviews." GameSpot awarded the game an 8 out of 10, praising the gameplay, level design, characters, visuals, soundtrack, and extra modes, but criticized the Rarely challenging difficulty. IGN's Brendan Graeber rated the game an 8.0, praising its clever use of 3D based puzzles in vibrant worlds, boss fights, the Robobot mech, and additional modes, but criticized the difficulty and invulnerably easy blocking. He stated, Kirby, Planet Robobot may not be the most challenging platformer around, but its clever use of robotic destruction combined with gorgeous environmental puzzles and unique bosses make for an entertaining ride. I only wish Kirby's monstrous mech suit could make proper use of the huge amount of collectibles." Destructoid's Chris Carter gave it a 7 out of 10, stating, while the robot motif comes in half-cocked, Planet Robobot is still a safe, serviceable Kirby game. After beating the story and reflecting on it, many elements felt like just going through the motions, but those motions haven't gotten stale yet after nearly 25 years." As of June 2016, it has sold 300,479 copies in Japan. By the end of March 2017, total sales reached 1.36 million copies. <laughs> Notes <laughs>